I hate to break it to you, but most of you guys aren't making the most out of your playing time. And when I say that, you got to think about the game of basketball. Coaches usually roll with a seven to nine person rotation. And just this past week, we got to watch one of the best girls high school playoff games that I've seen to open up a, a, the playoffs in a while. And this North Ridgeville team that I went to go watch, they had a girl who I've never seen step on the floor before. And guess what? She made the most out of her opportunity. Now, the key, she got in the game with 24.3 seconds left. So let's, let's break down two things first. One, your coach has the ultimate trust to be putting you in the game at a crucial moment. It's the end of a quarter and the game is neck and neck. There's a three to five point differential in the game. Number two, you have to have some type of skill that they value that they need at this moment. And they were on defense. So that means that she's very good on defense to be getting in at that moment. That's a crucial time to get a stop. This girl got into the game. Not only did she get a stop, she secured a rebound. That right there, her not pouting, her being ready, her making the most of the moment, earned her playing time in the second half. And in the second half, she continued to pick it up. She got, a, she got rebounds. She got on the floor for loose balls. She made the right passes. She wasn't scared to shoot. The nerves slowly left her body and now she became a full varsity player in that moment. She grew in that moment and she doesn't even realize it. But that just brought me back to thinking how many players sit on the bench and pout. Yeah, it sucks when you don't get playing time, but are you staying engaged? Are you active? Are you really watching the game and paying attention? Because when your number is called, that's when it's time to go show why you should be playing. Because if you get into the game and you haven't been paying attention, you've been pouting, you've just been over there moping, not supporting your teammates, not cheering, you're gonna get into the game and you're just gonna do things that reinforce why you should not be playing. Versus being active, you were on the bench, you were clapping, you were saying stuff, you were chanting for your teammates, you were just watching opponents' tendencies, you were just had the mindset that when you got in, you were gonna dominate if you got in at all. Now you start taking advantage of those 15 seconds or 30 seconds because you go in there with a game plan. I got 15 seconds of playing time. I wanna get a stop and I wanna get a rebound. Boom, getting a stop and getting a rebound in that 15 seconds earns you 30 seconds. Doing what you need to do in 30 seconds earns you a minute and so on. But you have to be ready to make the most out of the playing time that you do get instead of moping about what you don't get. If you only get a chance to get the ball one time during the game, are you going one for one consistently to the point that people on your team and the coaches are saying, we need to get this person more shots? Or are you going 0 for 1 and saying, oh, if I had 10 shots a game, I would be, I would be scoring as, you know, scoring 20 or I'll be scoring 15. No, take advantage of what you are given. So if your playing time is minimal, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to mope or are you going to make something happen?